you're watching the cooking with Jack show. Okay, so the trick is she cooked all the bacon. She's gonna pour the grease into this jar. Collect all your grease in a mason jar. So what you do is take it over, take it over to there, to the sink and fill it with water. Cold or what? Any, any water. About three quarters of the way full. Let's bring it over here and let's take a look. It's all mixed. Go ahead and put the lid on it. Now turn it upside down. Okay, you're gonna put it in the refrigerator or leave it on the counter, it doesn't matter. Either way, you're gonna cool it off upside down, okay? All right, guys, so as you can see, we put the bacon grease in there, then we put the water in there, then we put it in the fridge, then it solidified on top, we turned it upside down. We let it cool upside down so it would look like this. Now all you do is open the cap, pour off the junk, and you're left with a beautiful, perfect bacon vat. Okay, go ahead and pour off the water and any of the bits that floated to the top, uh, to the bottom, because that was the bottom of the refrigerator. You pour it all off, and then you can break up, you can break up the grease, put it in a container, whatever you want. I would just take a knife, stab it or a spoon or something, scoop it out. But that's how you kind of purify it, okay? So let's try that right now. And then what you're gonna get is literally something you can sit right by your stove or keep in the fridge, whichever one you wanna do. And you can cook with that. Look how beautiful that is. You just scoop out what solidified. And that's how you separate the junk from the grease or the beef tallow. Later on, we'll show you a video on how to make beef tallow, all right? But in the meantime, we're gonna start building up a collection of bacon grease here. Should be fun. 